What's better for hooded eyes, lasers or surgery? Since the mid-90s, when the original CO2 lasers were introduced, lasers and radiofrequency technology has tried to displace blepharoplasty for the treatment of hooded eyes. In my experience, when someone has hooded eyes to the level where they seek the attention of a physician, they have more skin than can be contracted by heat, whether it's from a laser or radiofrequency. The typical intended strategy of heating devices is to heat the skin of the forehead to contract and elevate the brows by slow contracture of the skin over several months. In addition, especially with radiofrequency, there's a need for multiple sessions. I have yet to be impressed by results using this method. Hooded eyes also often have areas of fat which needs to be sculpted which can only be accomplished with surgery. In conclusion, for people who want a solution for hooded eyes, surgery allows for more precise control and customization of different levels of tissue which contribute to a cosmetically pleasing result.